We are following now a, a live news conference from APD, AFD, and EMS Brown officials. Brown They're giving department. us more information. Let's scene, listen in. Uh, with joint operations with the police department, EMS, for a person who is tubing down Barton Creek, and uh, they got pulled underwater, and folks now, the crews are working at trying to recover the person. My name is Officer Marcus Davis with the Austin Police Department. Uh, like Deputy Chief mentioned, this is a joint response and joint effort. Officers arrived on scene, began immediately identifying witnesses and gathering all the facts of the, the case, and we relayed that information to the fire department. Uh, we also had the helicopter, the air unit, provide uh, area assistance and we're trying to locate the missing person. Um, and so at that point, uh, we kind of turned it over to the fire department and notified our on-call staff to respond, as well as uh, the crime team unit and uh, special operations dive team. Paul Alvarez, Special Operations Command, Boston Travis County EMS. We banked up with AFD and APD, trying to uh, save the person who was caught in the water. Unfortunately, we quickly transitioned into a recovery, and that's what we're working on at this point with AFD and APD. Did the, did the flooding, did the water, the, the fast current have anything to do with this? It does. Uh, with all the large volumes of rain that we've gotten, the water's moving faster. It's very powerful. Uh, these folks were out tubing, uh, just trying to enjoy the water, but as powerful as it is, when they got to their exit point, uh, it appears that the, the water pulled the, the, the individual further in. So the uh, Lake Austin and Lady Bird Lake are, are closed for a reason. I know these aren't a part of that, but it just goes to show how dangerous the water can be right now. And the pool, the pool was closed or was it open? That's correct. It's been closed for about five days, I believe. What did witnesses say? Was she, you know, with other people, friends out there or anything? That is correct. She was with a group of friends. They all went in at Twin Falls, tube down here. The exit point was where they were trying to get out. And uh, the, her friends saw her tube in her hands and, and tried to reach in and help her, but rec quickly recognized that it was drawing them in as well. And they called for help. I believe the initial call was right around 8.15 this evening with crews on scene before 8.20. How difficult of a recovery operation is this at this point? Um, I saw a, a very large dive team presence here. They, uh, once they did locate the body, it has been a bit of a struggle trying to, because of the, the power of the water and the position where the body is, trying to, to get the individual out it is a bit of a struggle. They're going through different evolutions right now to see what what can be successful at helping to get the body out. I saw a large search area earlier as well. Was it uncertain initially where she We're going to continue to follow this reports, for you. This uh, is uh, exactly the reason why uh, many bodies of water were closed today by emergency officials, and our Kylie McGivern has that part of the story.